Follow the adventures of Radio Ron as he works with Dyax in the rainforest of Borneo. Crocodile Attack by Sandra S.C. Arthur. Short stories for under seven years old. Where is Omar? As you read this story, remember to hunt for Omar the orangutan, who is hiding on the page. Let's begin the story. I have to collect some items to fix my helicopter. Can you take me to the next village? Radio Ron asks Pack and Sytok, both Dayak warriors. Why, yes. Climb into our canoe. We can take you, replied Pack. As Radio Ron and the warriors paddled down the river, they noticed a group of butterflies. How beautiful! I love that orange and brown spotted butterfly, cried Radio Ron. The butterflies flew over the river and surrounded the men in the canoe. <laughs> that tickles, shouted Sytok as the butterfly wings tickled his eyes and nose. What's happened? Asked Radio Ron. I couldn't see. I think we've hit a crocodile. Explained Pack. The men gingerly looked out of the canoe and saw a long brown and green object in the river. Yes, it is a crocodile. Do you think he's sleeping? Can we gently push the canoe and get away? Whispered Radio Ron. We would need to get out of the boat to push, and we might wake up the crocodile. The warrior replied. There was no choice other than to push their paddles against the crocodile and hope for the best. The men closed their eyes and started to push against the crocodile's back when Radio Ron slipped and fell into the water. Help! He cried. Radio Ron was now in the muddy water and scrambling to get back into the canoe. In his panic, his leg hit the crocodile and he slipped backwards into the water again. His leg then became stuck. He's got me! Help! Hurry before the crocodile eats me! As Radio Ron looked up, he noticed that the warrior was laughing. Despite all the noise Radio Ron was making, an orangutan had arrived on the scene. Holding a thin stick, the smart ape climbed onto the back of the crocodile. Radio Ron exclaimed, Look, the brave orangutan is helping me by poking the crocodile in the eye. Clever orangutan is actually using his stick to find insects on that old tree trunk. <laughs> Laugh, Pack. <laughs> tree trunk? Queried Radio Ron. Yes. Laughed, Pack. You're stuck on a tree branch. Luckily, the orangutan knew it was not a real crocodile. <laughs> Pack, please stop and help me out of this river. He pleaded. Radio Ron looked behind him and could see that the warrior was correct. I'm glad it was a log. I'd hate to have been that croc's supper. Smiled Radio Ron. He climbed back into the canoe, waved to the ape and then continued on his journey. Find out about the critically endangered species such as orangutans. Consider how you can make a difference in this world. Orangutans are losing their natural habitat due to logging, 
new palm oil plantations, mining, and forest fires. Some UN scientists believe that this could lead to their extinction by the year 2012. Please take action to help them. On the screen, you will find a fact file on orangutan. Finally, if you have enjoyed this free material, please consider making a donation a comment on YouTube if you decide to donate. Thank you. I'm on a mission for permission for the orangutans. Break it down.